Hello and good afternoon CSI 158 section 841 and 847 students at Anne Arundel Community College for the Cisco Networking Academy second eight week term which is the routing and switching essentials course. Today's packet tracer tutorial is going to be packet tracer 9.2.1.11 which is very similar to packet tracer 9.2.1.10 which we previously did. However in this packet tracer activity we're going to be configuring named standard ACLs. And so again, we have our addressing table here, and this is actually going to be a nice introduction into named standard ACL. It's gonna walk us through. All right, so verify that connectivity exists before any of the ACLs are applied. And so we'll go ahead and take PC1, and we're gonna ping out to a series of, of servers here. And so let me slide that up a little bit. So from PC1, if I were to ping PC0, which is 192.168.20.3, we have success, and then I'm also going to ping PC2, which is 192.168.10.3. And again, we would anticipate that the first ping pack, whoops, apologize there. Let's kill that command, so 192.168.10.3. So we would anticipate that the first ping is going to fail because it's going to have to ARP out. It's on a different network segment. And then we have success. Okay, let's try to ping the web server and the file server. So if I ping 192.168.200.100, which is our file server, see if my packet makes it through router one. And again, the first one fails and then the subsequent pings work. And then let's try 100 dash, or I'm sorry, 100 dot 100 and that is going to be the web server. All right, so we've got success. So connectivity exists. Okay, so now we're gonna configure some standard named ACLs. So I'm on router one here, which is the only router in our scenario. We'll go from user exec into privilege exec, and then into global config mode with the configure terminal command, and I shorten it to conf, conf t. Okay, so it's gonna be IP access list, standard and if I do the question mark you can see you can do a word which is the access list name or you can put in the number of the ACL whereas before we would put in one so let's take a look here on a real Cisco switch and this is a 3750 switch and so if I go into global config mode on this 3750 and I type in IP access dash list and then I do the question mark you can see that we've got a number of options here. Extended, log update, logging, resequence, and standard. So we want standard. And if I do the question mark again, you'll notice that Packet Tracer doesn't provide us with the opportunity to select sort of that extended range of ACLs. Not an extended ACL, but the, ex or I'm sorry, the expanded range of the ACLs for standard ACLs, which is 1300 to 1999. So you can see here where Packet Tracer is only allowing us to go from 1 to 99, right? But just like on your standard Cisco IOS, right, you can choose 1 through 99, or we could put a word in here. Okay, so back to our activity. So we're going to name this ACL. It's going to be called file underscore server underscore restrictions, right? Okay, and so under this, and you can see the prompt is now changed to config standard named ACL right and so we're going to do permit host 192.168.20.4 and then at the very end we're going to do a deny any and in fact if you do a question mark after that you can see that it doesn't allow you to put anything else however if I'm up here and so let's do the same thing on the real Cisco IOS on a 3750 so we'll do file server restrictions I'll do permit host 192.168.20.4 and then finally I'll do a deny any and if I do a question mark and this is a very critical entry here 
you'll notice if I do a question mark, I have the ability to log failures. So whereas here with Packet Tracer, that option's not provided, be sure to note that you can log the failures. And this is something very common because you want to see if someone or something is trying to access an area where you have an ACL set up to specifically deny that access. And so I would put log and hit enter. And now if I do a do show access lists, right, you can see here is my standard named access list and it shows the deny any log, right? Okay, this is another access list I was working on. Okay, so deny any and hit enter. And so now we're pretty much done with that ACL. So let's type in and we'll do a quick, whoop, before we do a write mem, let's actually go back into global config mode. We wanna apply that to the interface. And so we're gonna put this on interface fast ethernet zero slash one. So it's IP access group. So remember that it's not access list, it's access group. And when you apply it to a VTY line, it's access dash class. All right, so file, so, oops, sorry, I want to underscore there. File server, whoops, and restrictions. And this is going to be an outbound standard named ACL. And again, we're putting it on FA01. And so all three workstations should be able to ping both the web server and the file server. That's where we verified. Now we're going to configure this named ACL. And the purpose is that all clients from one network and one specific workstation from a different network should be denied access. All right. So let's see what, let's see what happens here. On the fast Ethernet 01, there's 00. And there's fast Ethernet 01. So it's going to be an outbound ACL that's destined for the file server. And so now we've applied that ACL to that fast Ethernet 01 interface. And now I'm going to save my I'm going to save my configuration here. So basically, only the host 192.168.20.4 is going to be allowed to get to the file server. And 192.168.20.4 is actually PC1. So PC1 should succeed in being able to ping or if it, you wanted to trace route or do anything, you know, telnet SSH over to file server one, it's gonna work. However, everybody else should be denied. So let's take a look at this. And as you can see, we're right on track. Our score is 100 out of 100, but we always wanna confirm. So from PC1, let me go ahead and try to ping 192.168.100.100, and that works. Let me pull this back so I can get to the web server but can I get to the file server? So 200.100, so I get to the web server and I can get to the file server. And again, I'm on PC1, so this is a good thing because PC1's IP is the 192.168.20.4. And that is the guy, that's the host that we're allowing here. We're permitting him through. Okay, so now let me get off of PC1. Let's pull up PC0 and see what happens. So PC0 is gonna try to ping over to 192.168.100, whoops, 100.100. And so PC0 can ping the web server, but what happens when PC0 tries to ping the file server? And we get a destination host unreachable. And that's what we're looking for. And so our final check will be from PC2. And let's do it really quick here. So we'll do a ping, whoops, ping 192.168.100.100. And again, that's our web server, so that will work because that's not that does not go out fast Ethernet 01. It goes out fast Ethernet 00. And when we try to ping from PC2, we get destination host unreachable. And so this has worked. All right, so we created a named standard ACL. We also added in the deny any statement. We got to take a look at the what a 3750 looks like with the real Cisco full-blown iOS on there. And in fact, I think I have do show version. What are we running here? Yep, IP services, right? So as you can see, you have a log option for your deny statements, and that's something that you definitely want to add on there to see what traffic is actually trying to access whatever that ACL is protecting. All right, so this has been Packet Tracer Activity 9.2.1.11, and best of luck in your studies, and I'll see you this week.